Hello, here's the Thor Tranquility 19P. I'm gonna give you an overview of the important operating instructions. Uh, one, the uh, air conditioner up there, this is about 11 foot clearance, so you wanna make sure that you uh, don't go under any low overhead clearance, drive-throughs or anything like that. In terms of uh, gas, it takes diesel fuel, so here's where the gas is. And we'll go start it, uh, start it up. It's just a push button. So just push button, start it. And then in terms of normal operating, here's the press in for park, press up for uh, reverse, down for drive, in for park, you're good to go. If you're on a hill, parking brake. Um, and the most important two items is obviously of the gas here and then the diesel exhaust fluid def here. Right now it's full. That'll run about 1,800 miles. If you're not, uh, if you're going less than that, you won't have to worry about it. But if you, um, if you have to make sure you don't run out of gas and don't run out of DEF, I'll show you what you would do if you are going a long distance and need to fill the DEF. Uh, open the hood. Here's the latch. Hood. And open right under here. There's the thing to hold it up. So this is the DEF right there. Diesel exhaust fluid. So if you're out of there, there's the DEF. You can pick that up at any uh, any hardware store. Lowe's, Home Depot, any, any place like that, or any uh, any auto store. This uh, does have uh, adaptive cruise control, which is pretty nice. So you can click on here when you're driving, and then adjust the the, the speed. So that's a nice feature when you're driving that uh, it'll slow down and speed up for you. <clears throat> uh, inside of the coach couple really important things one is the main power source so the main power source is under here you would probably never need to touch it but um, if there's no power you possibly would be uh, because this got tripped so if the yellow buttons pushed out it's tripped over here to the right is off so now there'd be no power in the coach turn it over to the left push in now it has power there's your uh, propane if you don't want the propane you can have it off gonna run the propane you turn it on propane's for your for your heat and then when you're connecting outside uh, in here will be your water to fill up your water fluid here on your keys here's water so just open that to open up the water you just uh, fill that up when I'll show you inside when the tanks get full down here is where you would uh, empty it so you get the uh, sewer hose out of here and turn turn that here go on and then you would just open that up which would uh, drain it and then if you're actually parked at a uh, at a campsite where you want to connect then you just uh, connect that on and that would always run um, <clears throat> same thing here if you're connected to a campground you just put the water the water in here and then for the main power connected there's a uh, cord you could just connect the cord in and that would give you uh, full power to the coach uh, and then for the bathroom toilet this is uh, where the canister is you really shouldn't have to mess with this very often but uh, you can actually just pull out the canister pull out the canister and then uh, you just 
just uh, empty that out into any uh, any toilet, porta potty, what have you. Uh, you got the, the bike rack, spare tire, and towing. And here you got an extra 110 volt outlet if you want to work outside, plug something in outside. And then you got another propane line if you were going to connect a barbecue outside. And inside the coach, a couple real important things here. This switch here will give you power on or off. This will be for uh, all of the lights. So right now it's off. You won't have any uh, any power to the the lights. In terms of the um, <coughs> the 110 volt for the microwave, refrigerator, TV, and all the all the outlets. You have an inverter switch here you swipe between these two screens till you get to the combo master right now it's on so with that on power off you'll have your you know, microwave will be working your refrigerator everything's on that drains a lot of battery so if you're not <coughs> using it uh then you can turn the uh turn that to off for now we'll we'll go ahead and turn it on and then we'll turn on the full uh, power to the back. So that'll give you power. And then all of the controls go through this BM Pro. So this uh, will be your kind of brains to control everything. You have quick switches here for the lights there, two of the under headlights. Three should be the bathroom lights and four the other lights. So those are quick light switches for you. You also can extend and retract the awning uh, from, uh, from, from there as well. Uh, so this will be your main, main power here. Just press that, uh, little RV thing and the BM Pro will power up. While it's powering up, I'll show you we've got the fridge, the propane the gas. Here's your light fluid here and simple you just press it down. And then uh, there you got your uh, propane gas going. Turn that off. And then for your couch bed there's a connector here. There you just switch it down and put it down for the bed. And then these here, you just pull up and out. And pull up. This one, uh, pull up and out. And there, there we go. You're ready for the bed. And when you're just sitting, you need to put them back up. It would um, not move the two couches when this is fully up. Sometimes the edge will pull against the couch there and the tear. So best to put these down first, not how I just did it. And here you got the uh, got your TV. And here, these are uh, screens. So there's one screen that goes in the back. There's another screen that goes there. So if you're camping, you want to have everything open, but keep the bugs out. You can put those screens again, one in the back. They'll just hook up to the hooks there. <coughs> and uh, here you've got power outlet and TV antenna, just uh, extra storage and the. Uh, signals for the, the Wi-Fi, some charging outlets here, um, just the user manuals, so many user manuals, instructions are in there, you don't need those, and uh, here's pots and pans, <coughs> and then your heater, so your, so everything again is controlled by the BM Pro except the heater, water heater, so for the heater, just press, press the button here, You'll see the coach there, and then you just uh, you can rotate to what you want. Press it again, 
right now the heater's off just rotate it and, uh, right there now we're uh, heating uh, heating up the unit and push back and go to the water here we'll turn it on now we're putting on the uh, hot water and then uh, this will just be a fan fan um, that you can turn on as well so those are the three things operated through the truma and everything else out back here will be operated from the Impro with your uh, the top home button it gives you a quick overview of the main thing so you see your tanks are full of water and the empty is empty uh, you can do your lights on lights off water pump and climate so you can do it all from here um, <clears throat> so you just press it down there'd be your uh, lights on lights off press here for your water pump if you're using the water and there's your climate turn your air conditioner on and so that's kind of your home screen or you can do it individually first drip button here it's going to be your uh, again show you your fresh is full the gray is empty put on a water pump and then then you just hit the tank heaters this actually uh, also works to heat up the water similar to how we just had it in the truma so now you're uh, in several minutes you'll be able to get hot water uh, this is going to be your awning so you can retract if you just keep it pressed down the awning will <coughs> retract and then it will extend so right now you'll be able to see that uh, the awning is extended Stop it and uh, retract it. And then we'll come back. The next one is your uh, air conditioner, so you can either have it just the air conditioner on, just press the button, the back air conditioner will come on, control the temp, or uh, whatever temperature you want on. If you uh, don't need the air conditioner on, but you just want a fan on, then you can switch over to the fan and uh, have it on a low speed or a high speed we'll turn that off and then this is the another place for the lights this one if you want to dim the lights the living room light kitchen light you can dim them bed ceiling light front accent bath ceiling light and outside lights and then you got awning lights as well the charger this just shows you in batteries where they're at fully charged and then your propane tank right now propane's at three eighths when you get that filled up uh kitchen vent so important that you make sure that uh, whenever you're driving the vent is closed and here you want to raise your kitchen vent and then you can uh, turn on the kitchen fan and you also have one in the uh, bathroom. Turn on the bathroom fan. They're not a vent for, uh, they're not a top for that one. So turn off the kitchen fan, turn off the bath fan, and, and make sure that it's uh, closed for, uh, for driving. So that's uh, pretty much it for the VM Pro. You do have a, a Bluetooth. Uh, speaker so you can connect bluetooth for uh, for music and you got your um, <coughs> charger outlets here's uh, the uh, refrigerator and this will be the main power to have it on you can adjust the the temp to fully cold or um, not as cold we'll just put it in the middle the nighttime just takes less uh, less power and microwave in the, um, the bathroom so bottom drawer here you've got toilet paper and if you do if you do empty the cartridge as I showed you outside 
you want to fill it up with a quart of water and then throw in one of those um, <clears throat> one of those tree toilet treatments. The toilet rotates so you can go kind of in any any direction while you're in there. And then uh, you got your shower, a little bit of uh, soap storage in here. And then, uh, and then it's the uh, bathroom sink and the uh, shower curtain and clothes rack when you're not in, in there. All right, that is your brief overview of the Thor Tranquility 19P. Um, again, up in up in the, here, you'll have a couple of numbers. Um, if, uh, if something happened, we've got a uh, uh, phone number in here to call on uh, we got video support, tech support. Um, but uh, if anything happens, first and foremost, contact me and I will help get any problem solved. Uh, inside of the Mercedes here, you've got heated seats, controls there, and then uh, these actually are USB-C chargers. This one give you the uh, Apple CarPlay, and these are just the uh, normal chargers. Okay. All right. Hope uh, you have a wonderful trip, and uh, let me know if you have any questions or if you need anything. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.